Hi, my name's Todd. I'm a nurse practitioner here at Contour Dermatology, and I am going to talk to you today about Propecia for male pattern baldness. Don't think that I've lost the irony that I'm talking about male pattern baldness um, with a nicely shaved bald head. Before I talk to you about Propecia, it's important to understand how androgenic hair loss or male pattern baldness and also female pattern baldness uh, happens in the body. Um, testosterone, not to get too, uh, too technical, but testosterone is converted to uh, dihydrotestosterone um, with the enzyme 5-alpha reductase. That enzyme uh, tends to be more active in some people, and the conversion process creates the dihydrotestosterone, also called DHT, and that DHT causes the hair to have a shorter lifespan or a shorter uh, period of growth. That period of growth causes thinner hair shafts, so the, the width or the di diameter of the hair is smaller, and because it has a shorter growth cycle, it also becomes very short. So you have tiny little short hairs um, that are thin. Over time, that continues to, 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 to occur, and uh, the follicles just no longer really work. Um, the reason why I'm bald today is because when I uh, lost the majority of my hair, there was no such thing as Propecia or Finasteride, also known as, as Finasteride. Finasteride is an amazing medication because it is a 5-alpha reductase inhibitor. So it blocks that enzyme's action, and therefore you still have testosterone in your system, but the conversion to the DHT um, is, is inhibited. Finasteride is a fantastic medication. You take it once a day. It's usually one milligram a day that you take. Uh, the medication, same medication that you would take for BPH uh, would be much, uh, a much higher dose. So finasteride is a smaller dose, um, limited side effect profile. Uh, we would keep it, keep you from using it if you had problems with your liver, um, if you were uh, pregnant, um, lactating, um, if you had any kind of other problems that might lead us to say, okay, this is a bad medication for you. The side effects would be, we, we do have people that occasionally have side effects. Um, we, we would check in with you on a regular basis, and if you are having side effects, then what we would do is we would either decrease the dosage or we would stop the usage, but that rarely happens. The idea behind Propecia is that you take it one pill a day for at least 30 days, and then from that point, you continue the cycle. During that time, we're going to check, uh, if you're a male, we're going to check your prostate levels, your prostate-specific antigen levels, also called PSAs. Um, we're going to do that at the very beginning. We're going to do that about uh, 60 days, 30 to 60 days in, and then um, we're going to continue to monitor those, monitor those periodically, or your physician, uh, PCP, will monitor those periodically. I, I know several people that take Propecia. They're very huge advocates of it. I would be taking it myself, like I said, if I were a candidate, but I'm not, so I'm going to keep having a nice shiny bald head. If you have any hair loss concerns, come see us at Contour Dermatology. We'll take care of you. We want you to be happy with the way you see yourself.